Good morning and happy Sunday to you. My name is Evan Smith. I'm the pastor at Second Presbyterian Church here in downtown Stanton, and I'm coming to you today for your daily Lenten video devotional. This morning, we're looking at a passage from Matthew 17, verses 1 through 9, and it's the story of the transfiguration. That is when Jesus took Peter, James, and John up onto a high mountain, and they were able to see him in all his heavenly glory. And so let's look at this passage now from Matthew. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three dwellings here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud a voice said, This is my son, the beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up. Do not be afraid. And when they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, Tell no one about the vision until after the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. In this story, Peter, James, and John, they get this unique window into Jesus as he is. You know, Jesus in all in his heavenly glory. And Peter is so overcome by this that he, he starts talking and he's like the leader of the group. So maybe he felt like it was his responsibility to. Uh, and he, so he's like, you know what? It's good that we're here. Uh, I tell you what, I, I just, I just want to do something. So I'm going to build a booth for you, Jesus, and one for Elijah, and one for Moses. And then there's this voice from heaven, obviously God speaking, that's like, this is my son, the beloved with him I am well pleased. And then God says, the big thing that's our takeaway for here today, listen to him. Listen to him. You know, in my marriage, my wife, who's a psychologist and listens for a, a living, she, she likes to say that, that I'm the mouth of our relationship and she's the ears. And, and she's probably right. I, I love talking and I'm also a doer and I love doing. And so I think I, I really relate to Peter here because here he has this amazing spiritual experience. And what does he want to do? He wants to talk and he wants to do. It's like, all right, this is awesome. Let's do, do, do. Let's talk. Let's do. Like, and the message that God has for them, listen to him. You know, in the spiritual life, especially if we've made following Jesus an important part of our life, we can get into that trap where in prayer we want to talk, 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 and we don't listen. With our spirituality, we want to do, 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 and we don't take time to take care of our own souls and be with God and just listen and be and know that God loves us, not because of what we're doing, not because of the words we might say, but because of who we are as his dearly beloved children. And so that's my challenge to you today, is to spend some extra time in prayer, in the presence of God, just listening. I mean, there are a few ways you can do that. Some, if, you, if there are praise music uh, songs that you like, hymns that you like, whatever it is, and you have the way to listen to that, listen to that and just let your spirit be, be washed over by the presence of God as you're just focusing on listening and being with God. Another way is just to invite God's presence to be with you in prayer and then just to be still. And the final way that, that I find really helpful is after those experiences, actually sit down and begin to write about what you felt God may have been saying to you. And often in that reflection process, I feel like God reveals a whole new dimension to me that I hadn't seen before. And all these are ways that we can spend time listening to God so that we can be aware of how important it is not just to talk, not just to say the right things, not just to do, but to listen and be as we grow in the knowledge of who we are as the children of God. And that is your word for today. I hope this finds you well, and it is Sunday. And so if you're looking for a place to worship today, we would love it if you would come 
to Second Presbyterian Church here in downtown Stanton. We have a small gift for you. You will be welcomed. You will be loved. I would love to be able to meet you as well. So thanks a lot. Hope to see you soon. Have a great day and goodbye.